Hey, hey, it's uh, Trevor here with DV and Inc. I wanted to just jump in real quick and and uh, show you a few tips and tricks on how to easily customize a Polaris Matrix sled wrap. So we're on DVandInc.com, of course. Uh, we're on our Matrix catalog page. As you can see, 93 different designs. Depending on when you uh, uh, watch this video, um, there could be a lot more. We're in the process of adding our, our new season designs. Um, to the site in a few weeks so stay tuned there but uh, a lot of designs to choose from uh, a lot of folks look at uh, what we have showing here and and uh, don't realize that they can make it any color that they want that's the beauty of our of our premium wrap customizer uh, our online tool that allows you to customize the different colors and areas of the snowmobile and drag and drop logos you'll see i'll walk you through that here in a minute but while we're on this catalog page, uh, these um, squares are uh, variants, they're color variants. And so you can click on them and get a quick look. We're always you know, playing around with these and tweaking them um, to, you know, if we see a really cool variant from a customer, we might take those, that, that color variant and load it up here. The other thing you can do too here is hover over uh, the little eyedropper uh icon here and and click customize that's going to take you right directly into our customize our customizer page and so you'll go right to the elevation design right into the customizer and um, be able to start designing now um, a new thing we added over here if you see design type depending on also when you're watching this video um, we are in the process of of updating the the color section um, this is reflecting just our variance, right? Because um, with our premium online wrap customizer tool, you can make it any color you want. So you're not just limited to your red, green, black, white, pink. Um, that's still a work in process. But what we're going to get into here is the design type. So 93 designs, uh, well over 100 here in, in a little bit. Where do you start, right? Where do you start? So we've put some filter categories here, hopefully to make it, make your life just a little bit uh, easier or quicker to find um, a few of those um, designs that you wanna dial in, right? And so I'm just gonna go through here and let's say I'm a simple type of guy. I'm gonna click simple. I wanna see what we have here. And I can scroll around and look at some of these uh, simple type designs. I'm gonna just stick with the elevation um, design. And uh, you wanna click on that. It's gonna take you to our um, product page for that design okay and one of the nice things about um, what we do on our website I know some wrap companies they force you into a, a full complete kit um, with no option to kind of piece together your kit and so once you place let's say you just want the the hood and side panels right now like that's that's all you want that's all you have budget for right now Grab the hood and side panels. Uh, when we create your order and your print file, we have the whole sled for that template done up for you. And so if in a month from now you want to come back in and add in the tank and the tunnel, then you come back in and you add those, those, uh, those pieces to your order and boom, place the order. We'll get that the rest of that wrap out to you. So not a, not a big deal at all. Um, but we're, we're going to click the customize button. So remember back on the catalog page, the little eyedropper, if you would have clicked that, it would have taken you right to this, which is our customizer page. Okay. So, uh, a few things that we want to consider, uh, before we start going, we've got a video, I'll link it up, uh, here in this video. Um, but it, it walks you through logo placement and some tips on what to do with your side panels. I'm with with the sled that I'm designing. Uh, it's it's all black, so we're we're blacked out everywhere. So I would make um, basically all of my accent colors just for the the ease of this video. I'd make them all black, right? But as you can see, like you can you know if you got some powder coat stuff going on, like you can you can kind of have fun with some of your accents. The goal here obviously is just to we're, we're trying to to mimic what you're what your the, the skeleton of your snowmobile 
looks like so that when you place these designs on, you're getting the truest reading possible, right? So we're going to go over to wrap colors. Like I said, that, that video uh, walks you through uh, just a quick tip on, on making all of your, your panel colors white. And then um, it shows your cut lines of kind of how the panels line up. And so if you have some, some questions on where to place logos, um, you can see, oh, well, if I place this logo here, it's kind of getting cut in half by this, uh, this side panel here. So that's, like I said, another video, I'll link it up. Worth the, the watch to kind of scan through and, and get an idea, right, of, of where you're going to place logos. But here's where we get to customize. So depending on the wrap design, you may have one color, two colors, or six or seven colors. Uh, just kind of depends on the complexity of that design. So with the elevation design, we've got three colors. You can see black is gonna be uh, in those solid blocks. We're gonna click there. And I'm just gonna kind of show you um, some different things here. I'm gonna, I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm going to play around. You know, I'm, I might, I kind of like that gradient color right there. And let's see. So as you can see here, I'm just messing with that color one, right? And I could, you know, if I wanted something pretty dang simple, kind of like a stealthy, uh, uh, a super stealthy machine here with some, with some um, topo lines, I could go this route. I could throw another gradient in there. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it when so that's a little too much. I'm going to go back to here. And what if we did this and then that? Nope. I'm still going to play around. So we may just go like this. Yeah, we'll run like that. Um, just for the sake of time, uh, we're gonna, we'll run it like that. Actually, we're going stealth mode. This is, this is deep, this is dark right here. So this will be easy um, and kind of clean for some logos. So um, next up is we're going to throw some logos on here. Now, all of our Deviant Ink um, icons and branding logos, that's all free. Throw those on wherever you want. They're free. Any other logo or um, personalization like a name and number and Instagram handle, um, those are $10 per logo. It doesn't matter if you put that logo on there 10 times, that it's just $10 per specific logo. Uh, the one thing, another thing to re remember when we get this question often is, um, cause we're, we got the one side view right here, right? Um, we mimic the other side of the, uh, of the snowmobile. So whatever you do on this side with your logo placement, it's gonna be on the, the other side as well. We're just gonna go with white logos here just for just for uh, sake of ease and time. This is where, why I have this pulled up. So uh, it's it's good uh, process, um, a, a good uh, a good way to go about putting wraps or putting logos on, on a sled is look at how the, the manufacturers do it. Look at the different locations that they're putting their logo logos. So, if I wanted to include Polaris on my Polaris snowmobile, I'm probably gonna wanna put it in the exact same position that they do for stock, right? So I could come back here, just type in Polaris, and here we are right there. Let's make it white so we can see it. We're on that, running down that side panel right there. And one thing 
you don't have to be here as perfect. Okay, be as close as you can. But like when we see this come in and we see you've got your Polaris up here, uh, on our end, we know you want that, that Polaris logo in the stock position. And so if you're angled a little different or if you're down a little further on the on that panel piece, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back up to, to where the stock location is before um, we print and mail it out to you. And side note, we do, once you place an order, you do get a proof. Uh, so you'll see all your logos and everything placed out. If you, um, you know, if we have, if we don't have a logo, let's say you have a local business, you want to represent that local business. All you would do uh, is because you wouldn't be able to find it here, right? Like local business, um, no data found. Okay. So not good, but you can come into personalization Sorry, you want to stay in logos, can't find logo, my local business, okay, type it in, we want it white, all right, so this is going to be acting as that local business logo, okay, and let's say, yeah, just for fun, we want to put it somewhere, we want to put it right here on the tunnel, okay, maybe it's a website or something. Um, what this triggers for us is in uh, order and prepping your order, we're going to reach out to you. We're going to get that, that logo file. We'll get it uploaded um, onto your wrap and then you get that proof and you get to look at how everything lies and approve. Once you approve that, then we print and ship. So don't worry. Like I said, you don't need to be perfect here um, because you're going to get some back and forth uh, with one of our designers before that thing mails out. Okay, so uh, if you want to delete a design or a logo, want to remove one, just hit that. Hit the can. All right, let's let's look for uh, the matrix. Let's look for a matrix logo. Kind of a cool little 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 spot there to put that that matrix logo. Uh, don't be alarmed. Some of our designs, like if, if a design is like is multicolor, um, it's hard to see like the matrix. They've they've got a red and then that that gray line running through there. So it's hard for us to to kind of map that. So um, all you got to do, like for, for this, is easy because all of our other logos are white, right? But if you wanted this to be a different color, like I said in your order notes, you would say. Um, hey, I want that that matrix logo to be um, to be blue or or yellow or whatever. So let's just come in here. Oh, I'm way off. So we're down here. We are down here in this area, right? We're kind of down in that area. It's such a small area in there. Let's click the. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so we are, we're pretty close. Uh, we may need to just shrink it up, shrink it up just a little bit, right? Okay, so let's get back out of here. Come back in, it's gonna be so small, right? It's gonna be kind of hard to see. We're gonna keep it right there. We know, hey, that's that's the Matrix stock logo position. The DB and Ink boys are gonna get it right. Um, okay, so, uh, I'm not going to go through the whole logo um, customization, right? Because you may have a bunch of logos. One thing to remember with logo placement, and I go through this in 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 that um, that logo placement video. You don't want to just say, you know, throw a couple logos on or in random places and think, oh, I'm looking at the screen. Let me center it on the screen. It's not the case. You want to kind of look at the different angles of the snowmobile. You want to look at the different, um, you know, the different uh, uh, panels and and shapes here. You know, an, an example is, let's grab like a climb logo um, here. So up around the cone or the nose of the snowmobile, 
uh, down here underneath, right? Um, this is a fun place and you know, something you wouldn't want to do necessarily is like put a really small logo right there. Uh, it doesn't look horrible, but if you oversize that thing and kind of have it, you know, fade off a little bit, it just has, it, it just feels like the, the logo is part of the sled, part of the, the, the design organically. Right. So you see a lot of that type of stuff. Remember, pay attention. If you see some good logos, like if you're scrolling Instagram, you see a sled that looks looks really sharp, you know, screenshot that thing. And and then well, it's fun. You can't do it anywhere else. But on DeviantInc.com is then you can, you know, have that that uh, that design with the logos on one side of your screen. And you can recreate it on the other side of your screen on our website right here in this customizer. So um, there you go. You can personalize, right? Like let's say, let's say you want to throw your Instagram or just your, you know, your uh, your Instagram handle or your, your name, right? So you click, you can change the color. You can even change the font, right? So let's, Let's go with, and you can see it right here in the preview. Let's go with this guy right here. Add it in. And let's say we want that to kind of, our Instagram handle to be up, up on that windshield. That windshield location right in there okay um, just to start uh, we do these videos often we'll dive into a certain design and um, really you know tweak and customize and and throw a bunch of logos on but um, I think that's it the only other thing you want to make sure you do here is is create a free account on our website <laughs> Once you get that free account created, you can click save build and it's going to save it right to your account. Next time you log in, everything's already loaded up for you. So go do that, you know, three, four, five, six times and you've got, um, you know, a handful of different designs to kind of chew through and, and uh, share those. You can get the link right here if you click this, uh, at the forward, the forwarding arrow it's going to give you a link that's going to take you right here to exactly this design with the logos and everything dialed so you can send that off to the crew right you can send them three or four of them hey which one do you like best well what would you do differently hey move move this logo here change the logo color there um so super easy once again um one thing i did forget with these logos right um you may want to uh, make an outline, right? You may want a fill color and then an outline color. Uh, right now, uh, our customizer doesn't do outlines, but what you can do is you could add another logo. So like, and, and uh, when we see this come in, we, we understand what you're trying to do here uh, just so we can see it, right? So let's bring this down. This might be a little tricky to get that color. And pull this off, bring this down, bring that back. So you can kind of, not the best. Um, actually, we could just take this. You know, I'll make it black. So, yeah, you play around with it like that, but that's kind of how you, you know, if we saw that come in, we would say, hey, they're, they're trying to create an outline here. Not the best example. Um, apologies for that. But in your order notes, go, uh, before you, you, you place your order, you've got a section to put your order notes. You would say, hey, I want um, I want a, a white fill black outline. 
I want all my logos to be white filled with a black outline. And once again, you'll see that in your in your proof before we print and ship. Give it a thumbs up. And then we send it. All right. Okay, there you go. Um, that's the DB Inc. Polaris Matrix Sled Wrap Customizer video. Go play around with it. Have some fun.